Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. Today I will be showing you five delicious ways to eat butternut squash, one of my favorite squashes because it's rich in potassium, vitamin C, fiber, and so much more. Like this video if you love butternut squash and you're excited for these recipes and subscribe below because I upload videos every single week inspiring you and motivating you to lead a healthier life. So the other day I had a huge butternut squash at home and I decided to make all these recipes and show them to you. I ate butternut squash the whole week and it was amazing because I love butternut squash. So the first thing I did was cut my butternut squash. Now this was a mission because it was huge. So once I finally cut it in half, I took out all of the seeds, I put it on a baking sheet tray and I baked it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for around one hour. Now, it's not gonna take you this long to bake a regular butternut squash, but this one was huge, so it took me a while. So once it was baked, I took it out of the oven and I was ready to make all of my recipes. The first recipe is a spiralized butternut squash salad. And for this one, I am using my handy dandy spiralizer that I've been using for years, and it works like a charm. I'll link it below so that you guys can get it. It's super cheap on Amazon, like 20 bucks or something, and it's so worth the while. So once I spiralized all of my butternut squash, I passed it onto a pan and heat it up. Now this is optional. You can eat it at room temperature, but I wanted it a little bit more hot. It's like a hot, warm salad, so I heat it up a little bit. Once I heated it up, now I was ready to make my salad. Then I added some green onion and finally a cashew dressing that I made. So for the dressing, all I did is blend some soaked cashews with lemon juice, salt, and pepper and added it to the shredded pumpkin. As you can see, there's still little pieces of cashew and it's completely normal. So all you do is mix everything up, serve it on a plate. I added some chopped fresh cilantro and parsley that I had in the fridge, adds a touch of flavor and freshness. And that's it for our salad. It's super easy. <laughs> In this case, I'm gonna eat it with chopsticks. And one thing that I like about eating with chopsticks is that it helps me to eat slower because I tend to eat very, very fast. The next recipe is going to be a delicious butternut squash salad. And this butternut squash was so big. I baked it all at once. So when you bake it, once it's soft and you can put a fork through it, that means it's ready. So for the salad, I'm gonna cut a approximately two cups of butternut squash into medium-sized pieces. Then add these to a bowl with some mixed greens, some cucumber to add some freshness and hydration, one fourth cup of cranberries to add some crunch and sweetness, and half an apple diced. Finally, some green onion to give it some flavor and some dill that I had in the fridge. But if you don't have dill, it's fine. You can also sub for cilantro or parsley. Mix all of this really well. I added a tablespoon of hemp seeds, the juice of half a lemon, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. This is gonna give it a lot of flavor and half a tablespoon of delicious extra virgin olive oil for healthy fats. Mix all of this really well. Season with a little bit of Celtic sea salt. Add a dash of black pepper and now serve on a plate. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is one of my favorite salads. I am a salad lover and I am a sucker for butternut squash salads. There's something about butternut squash that just makes me feel like it's fall. And I topped it off with a little bit more hemp seeds and optional, uh, you can add some walnuts as well just to give it some more fall vibes. And the salad is ready, super delicious, refreshing. I love this one. And you can also prep it in advance. Just make sure to add the dressing until you're ready to eat it. Okay, so for our next recipe, we're gonna make a delicious creamy butternut squash soup. The first step, I'm gonna be adding some onion and some jalapeno pepper to a pot, and I also sprayed some avocado oil. Cook it on medium heat for a little bit, around three minutes. Now we add our veggie broth, and this is veggie broth that I just bought in the store, it was pre-made. You can also make yours 
at home as well. So two cups of veggie broth, start heating it up. Add half a cup of coconut milk to add some creaminess. And now our butternut squash. This time I'm adding around three cups of pre-cooked butternut squash. If your butternut squash isn't cooked, you can just add it raw, let it boil, cover it, and cook it for about 15 minutes until your butternut squash is tender. I covered it, and once it started boiling, I added some sea salt, some paprika to season. Once you get the taste that you want, now we're gonna add it to our blender to blend. This soup is incredibly easy to make. I love making these types of soups because you just cook everything in a pot, add it to a blender, blend it, it becomes creamy, and it's absolutely delicious. So we add everything to the blender, and now we can season it Blend on high for about a minute or until it gets the consistency that you want. I personally like it to be super blended. Now I'm gonna season it a bit more with some dried oregano, some dried turmeric, and about half a teaspoon of curry powder. Blend it one more time. And finally, I added a few dates just to give it some sweetness. If you don't have dates, you can use maple syrup as well or simply omit it. Now it's ready to serve. We serve in a bowl. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So creamy and warm, perfect for fall. Add a bit of cracked black pepper on top, some parsley and a bit of paprika. You can also add some olive oil to this if you want, but I'm just gonna eat it like this. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Perfect for dinner, and the best part is that you can make a ton of it and keep it in the fridge for the rest of the week in a tightly sealed container. This soup will last around four to five days in the fridge. So good. Next recipe is one of my favorites and we're gonna be making some butternut squash fries. So the first step is cutting up your butternut squash and you wanna cut it into small thin strips. In this case, I'm using butternut squash that has been pre-cooked. So if you're using raw butternut squash, the cooking times are going to change. I will be making my butternut squash fries in an air fryer. An air fryer is basically a machine that cooks everything at a very fast pace. I'm seasoning them with some sea salt, some black pepper, paprika, oregano, dried oregano, and finally spraying some avocado oil spray. So if you're making these with raw butternut squash, you want to double the amount of time that you're cooking these fries if you're making them in the air fryer. You can also bake them in the oven. I would bake them at 350 degrees for approximately 30 to 35 minutes. In this case, I will be cooking in the air fryer at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Okay, once the 15 minutes are up, our butternut squash fries are ready. They look so good, crunchy. A few of them are a little bit burnt, but it's okay. I still like them and I will still eat them. <laughs> okay, so now serve them on a plate and now you can eat them with whatever you want. You can have this as a side dish, put them on top of salads. And the best part, it's meal prep friendly so you can make a bunch of them beforehand and have them ready in the fridge. I personally like these as a snack and I'm going to be eating them with some organic ketchup. These are delicious, these are so good, perfect for the whole family, and I'm sure kids will love them as well. Yum! Thumbs up for this one. Next, we're making some butternut squash fritters. I added three tablespoons of oat flour. This is basically just oats blended and made into a powder. One egg to bind everything together, green onion to give it some flavor. Mix it all really well. Season it, in this case I'm using some onion powder or garlic powder, whatever you want, whatever you prefer. So on a pan I added a bit of avocado oil spray and made my fritters in my hands and added them to the pan, cooking at medium heat. As you can see, these are super easy to make and you'll see how everything binds together. 
the egg really helps for this. And if you want to make a vegan version out of this, all you do is substitute the egg for a flaxseed egg. One tablespoon flaxseed with two tablespoons of water. Cook them for approximately three minutes on each side. Dorian likes them with cheese, so I added some shredded cheese on top for his and let it melt a little bit. And then just added a bit of parsley on all of them for some freshness and extra flavor. These look so good and I love the crunchiness in this one as well. Okay, so once you've cooked them, now we put them on a plate. And these look delicious. Another meal prep friendly recipe for you guys. These are perfect for breakfast, lunch, dinner, or even a snack. All right, let's try them. <gasps> Yum, they're so good. Crunchy, savory, delicious. Yum. All right guys, so these were my five delicious recipes using butter, nut, squash. I wanna know which one of these you want to try and if you try any of these share them with me on instagram at yovana also remember to follow me everywhere at yovana on instagram facebook twitter and pinterest i love to see you guys there and i'm also uploading tons more content there to help you through this journey if you like these healthy recipes you can also download my ebooks where i have hundreds of healthy recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. Both of them are perfect for weight loss, so if you're looking for that, then I definitely recommend them. I'll leave you guys the link below to where you can download them. All right, that is it for this video. I send you a big hug, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.